Hello guys, Beyondy here. Today I want to show you a clip in Lakeville Standard Battle. I'm in my PSA tree with my friends uh, Krebs Koho and Sherman. Um, this is Standard Battle in Lakeville. It's tier 4. I can kind of show you what the enemies are. It's two, basically I have two good players and it's nothing special. Our team is Standard. What I try to do is when I'm on a fast medium tank or any scout, I want to take control of the middle. And I'll show you exactly why that's so important. The sets are blocks me, what, whatever. Our piece of tree A isn't a bad player either, so first thing I do is I want to get control of the middle area. You can see by the yellow line there on the screen, and I can show you from here, that's my view range. So anything that's in between there has a good chance to get spotted. This piece of tree A stops, I want to get the middle. So by now you see this martyr tree, and I'm like, whatever, this is an easy kill. He hits me once, I shoot him back, and I just ram him. He takes a massive amount of damage, and I just ram him to death, no problem. And then this other guy gets killed. So, because I take control of the middle, you can see this headster and this T40 spotted. Basically what I'm now doing is I'm sh taking some pot shots and I'm pulling back, I hit this headster. I pull back really quick, I aim again, I unfortunately miss. I'm trying to get him again, I pull back. This PT7 tries to get me, I penetrate him. And because I'm in the middle, all these guys are getting spotted. You can see behind me, my teammates are already shooting back too. So now I don't see anybody, I, I basically decide, well, uh, now I'm just going up and down before I decide, let's go forward and spot more guys. I spot this T40, you can see me aiming for him, for him taking pot shots, but it's not going to happen. If you're wondering why it's also twitchy, it's because I'm always responding very fast and moving while I'm shooting. So often you see me shoot and move, shoot and move. I almost hit 500 damage. I completely saw that Mario. Now I spot this piece of tree, which I don't want to fight because there's a good chance that if I move up I'll get hit by more guys. So I basically wait, let my team move up, my the PT7 tries to pen me, doesn't happen. Something missed me, I think that was like a headser. Then I get golded by a uh, tier 3, it destroys my gun, I repair it. I basically wait until that piece of tree is dead. Now I get lucky, had some bounces on me. I turn around because I want to kill those guys in the middle more. Yeah, you see me aiming on this guy showing his side, so yeah, boom, 60 damage, boom, 60 damage, boom, unlucky. He basically takes a lot of damage. Because this tank shoots every two seconds with a 7.5, and you don't have to use gold on the sides of the enemy or against martyrs. So now the game is won, they got 5 guys left, this guy tries to penetrate me, I don't really care. All I do now is just, I decide to rush this guy. He, he can't really beat me. He's pulling back, I, I try to spam on the move, it doesn't work. I, my teammates hit him, I hit him once and then he's dead. I crashed into this rock because I tried to get between those two rocks, kind of failed. And now... Let's just speed it up, because basically, you see those two guys at H2, they're gonna try to cap our base, I don't want to, I basically start making donuts, and then this guy in the chat is like, idiots, why are you capping? So, and he's mad because he died, and then this Mattel says, what the fuck is your problem? Guys, it's okay to cap when you've obviously already won the battle, and that's the entire replay. So with scouts and with fast tanks, you gotta take over the middle, it's very important.